Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, we are going to make this Christmas floral peekaboo tumbler. Debbie is a friend of mine and I wanted to make her something bright and cheerful for her birthday for the holiday season. So we're starting out with a 32 ounce plump from the Steel Magnolia. This is my favorite size or favorite tumbler from the Steel Magnolia, not only because of the size of the tumbler and how much it holds, but because it also still fits in the majority of the car cup holders. And with as much space as you have on this tumbler to design, it really makes a statement. We are going to put our glitter directly on the stainless since we're using a vintage gold and I used about a milliliter and a half to two milliliters of epoxy to apply my glitter. We're using Queen Bee from PDB Creative Studio. And since we are doing a peekaboo, I'm not concerned about the bottom of the tumbler. I'm just covering the sides. Then we're going to roll it in our printer paper. You can also use parchment paper just to flatten out that glitter to minimize the amount of epoxy that we need to get this smooth. Once this epoxy dries, I'm going to give this two coats of epoxy so it is nice and smooth for our peekaboo stencil. We're going to use the same snowflakes as I used on our rolling pin peekaboo design. So I just went right back into what I had saved in design space. I created a shape that's the exact dimensions of my tumbler and I'm just going to move some of these snowflakes around so it better fits the size of tumbler that we're working on. And since we are creating a wrap, you want to make sure that you allow for some overhang on one side. So you'll see me pull some of the snowflakes over to the side and then duplicate them and then put them on the left side as well to make sure whenever I wrap it all the way around the tumbler, it is going to fit and not overlap the snowflakes at the beginning of our stencil. Once I have everything laid out, I'm going to remove those extra snowflakes that I have on the left side. We're going to keep the ones on the right because those are the ones that's going to meet at our seam. I'm going to remove that background guide that we added and then attach all of these together so they'll cut as one large sheet. After I have weeded out all of that extra vinyl, I'm going to place my transfer tape over top trim out around the snowflakes so I can line it up on my tumbler really well. Cut a little piece of that backing away from the snowflakes so that we can press it down once we have it lined up on our tumbler and just apply these using the hinge method.
You want to make sure that you're using either a temporary or a stencil vinyl for this so that you can easily remove them once you have spray painted and it won't leave any residue behind. We're using wine stain color shot paint. I'm going to give this two really thin coats of paint so it's easy to remove our stencils. Just remove those stencils off once that spray paint has dried and then you're ready to add on your decals. Our snowflake stencils are from Creative Fabrica as well as our florals. I have a Creative Fabrica subscription so it's easy to just go to Creative Fabrica, find what I need, and download all of these files for free. If you don't have a Creative Fabrica subscription, I have a link down below in the description for you so you can sign up for just a dollar and give it a trial run. I will promise you it is the best thing ever for us because it saves so much money. All the files are right there for you and you can download them without having any concern of spending additional money on your custom orders and cutting into your profit. So once I have uploaded all of the floral clusters that I plan on using on this into design space, I'm going to recreate that shape once again, and we're going to map out our florals before we cut them so that we know for sure they're going to fit on our tumbler. The font that I used for the name is Beth Arena, and I just placed that in the center of a three and a half inch circle Put that directly in the middle of our shape and then we're going to resize all of our florals until we have them the sizes that we need to cut them out. Now as far as the one that goes on the back side, we're working with a flat surface now whereas when we have them cut out it's going to be a round surface. So you're going to want to duplicate that so that you can see how it's going to lay out and then you will just delete one of those before you cut them out. Most of the time whenever you download some of these watercolor florals, they come with lots of elements where you can create your own little clusters yourself. I didn't have one that was the perfect size I needed for the other two corners. So I just went back over to these files and uploaded some of those elements into design space and then we're going to arrange them into a cluster ourselves. once we have those arranged into a little cluster that we need to fit in the space that we have i'm going to highlight all of them and select flatten so that those images will cut as one instead of separate images Once we're happy with our sizing and placement, we're going to remove that background and remove the extra large cluster. And I'm going to use the Buttercraft matte printable vinyl to print and cut these out. And then for our main decal, I'm going to use some of this new Tech Wrap Craft Bubble Free Metallic Vinyl. Y'all, this stuff is incredible. It has a backing on it that allows air to escape from underneath so it is pretty much a flawless application every time that you use it 
And as always, Tech Wrap Craft puts a really nice thin layer on top of their vinyl. So when it's time to use it, you can remove that layer on top and you have a scratch free vinyl underneath to cut. And I also used some of the Tech Wrap Craft textured metallic gold. I use this as our main and then the pinkish red metallic, I use that as an offset and did a 0.035 offset. For the metallic vinyl, I used the vinyl plus setting to cut it. So it cut just a little bit deeper since it is a little bit thicker of a vinyl. And I wanted to zoom in so that you could see how wonderful it cut and how easy it is to weed and then if you take a look at the backing as I'm removing it it has little teeny tiny holes in it that is going to allow the air to escape out from underneath so this applies very smooth and bubble free and to layer these together I'm going to place the transfer tape on top of our main image flip that over and then press down with the little squeegee tool as I'm pulling the back off and it will pull it off perfectly and then you just place it over top of the offset and do the same thing before we apply it to our tumbler. Once we have our main decal on, we're going to go in with all of our florals and just place them exactly how we had them in design space. Now these florals will have a lot of negative space in between the small elements that are in these clusters. Once you remove them from the backing, all you have to do is flip it over and pull those little pieces out. It does take a little bit of time but it is really worth it because these florals are so beautiful. You can also just place them on the tumbler and then grab a weeding tool and pull out those tiny little net pieces that are negative space. Once you have all of your florals on, you want to go back and check and make sure that they are all pressed down really well so they won't lift whenever you epoxy. And you want to give them two light coats of a matte clear spray paint to seal them in and seal in your printable vinyl. 
we're gonna take some filter from color flex which is a ultra fine sparkly glitter and add that into our first of two final layers of epoxy I absolutely love how this one turned out. It's elegant, but at the same time, it is so cheerful and festive. And the bright and vibrant colors of the florals in contrast with the wine spray paint is just perfect. I love it. And then, of course, we have the filter extra fine glitter that really gives this some pretty sparkle on top of that solid color spray paint. All of the materials that I have used in the tutorial will be listed down below in the description as well as some coupon codes for you. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell in the corner to be notified anytime a new tutorial drops. That is all for today. Thank you all so much and we'll see you next time.